Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on one in the battle. So this is definitely the best mini game I've ever seen. It has so many cool features. It's easy to set up. There are tons of different game modes, and the players can customize their loadout. They can open cases and get new gear. A bit like CS:GO. It's such a cool plugin. So uh, there is so much to cover. Better not dilly dally. Let's get straight into it on how to create a new map. So I've got one here. I made this a while ago. So we are going to look at the commands by doing one in the battle. That will show us the normal commands, and if we open up the admin commands, there is quite a few in here that we can use to set up a new game. So first of all, we need to set the lobby, which is pretty straightforward. It's going to be in here with all these leaderboards. So the cool thing about this, if you put a skull on top of a block and do a leaderboard sign, it will show the player with the top kills or top coins or top deaths or whatever you want, or second, third, fourth, fifth, depending on what place you put. There is also a leaderboard hollow over here. Obviously you need holographic displays for this to work and protocol lib um, if you want this feature and another one. So make sure you install those as well as this plugin. And once you've done that we can actually create a new arena. So there are lots of game modes to choose from. There is free mode, tournament, zombies, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4 etc. So we are going to go with 1v1 as it's only me and my other account. So let's do one in the battle, create map, the name, YT, and the game mode, so 1v1, there we go. So it says it's successfully been created, and all we need to do now is set some spawn points. So uh, one in the battle, add spawn for the arena YT, and that's set the first one, let's just set one more, we don't really need any more than that, but you could if you wanted, and we are going to set it to joinable. So one in the battle, set joinable for uh, the arena YT, is going to be true. So the map has been enabled, we can create a join sign like this, one in the battle, in brackets, and then join on the second line. So you don't actually need the specific arena um, on the third line. If you right click this, it will teleport you to the lobby, and then you get all these cool items. So let's go through them quickly. We have the play item, which has all of these different um, game modes. So free mode, it uh, shows you how many maps are on, how many players are playing it. Obviously, we haven't created one of those maps. That's why it's zero. Same with tournament and challenge. However, um, zombies is zero. Challenge, it says there's two maps. And uh, we can uh, select 1v1. And we'll be added to the queue, which is really cool. So when another player clicks it, we will get in a game with them. It's very cool, it's updated here as well. It says how many players are actually in the game PvPing and how many are queuing. So that is everything with the play item. We then have the trade item and the shop item. So the shop item, uh, if you see on my right, we have 250 coins. Obviously we can't uh, afford any of this. This is way too expensive for me at the moment. But uh, all of these do various different attack damage and are various different prices. There are other pages and you can get various different perks as well which is so cool and then we have cases so uh, I don't think I can afford any of these no I can't but I do have some in my inventory so uh, as you can see they all do various different things and you just click to buy them and do we have enough no we don't so obviously we can't buy that so once you've bought one of these you can go into your profile you can look in your inventory. As you can see, I unboxed something earlier. I got these leggings. They're not very good, but um, we got them anyway. And uh, if you click one of these cases, it's very similar to CSGO. So lots of items pop up here. And one at the end will be the one you get. So uh, we got a perk. So loot to one. And we have a 50% chance of earning 20% more coins for killing. So that is really cool. And that will be in our inventory, it should be, anyway. Uh, inventory, there we go, click it to equip it, and then if we go into loadout, there it is. So uh, we can also check our stats in here, and as you can see we have coins, modifier, and other things here, playtime as well, very very cool. And at the end we have achievements, which is a very cool feature. Um, obviously you're getting various amounts of kills, reach various ranks, or winning tournaments and whatnot. So that is cool, we also have a, the quit item which opens up a GUI to make sure you actually want to quit, uh, which is very cool. So that is what happens when you join the game. We're going to quit quickly, and I'll show you how to do these leaderboard signs. They're pretty easy to do. So you do one in the battle in square brackets. You do top on the second line, and the third line, something like deaths, coins, wins, 
all of that good stuff. So deaths and the top person for deaths, like that. And they update every um, so often. So if we do one in the battle check up, it will tell you when the next uh, update is, which is seven minutes away. So uh, that is how you do the leaderboard signs. Very, very cool. So the final thing I want to show you is how to do these awesome leaderboards. It's pretty straightforward. If I fly over here, we do four slash one in the battle, set hollow, and then leaderboard, and we will have it. There it is. So it shows hits, kills, modifier, wins, zombie kills, coins, shots fired, all that good stuff, which is great. Although you probably wouldn't want to put it in the middle of your arena, probably in your spawn point. So I have got my other account on, and we are going to join the game. As I showed you earlier, we are going to quickly check our inventory, just make sure everything is there. Let's open one more case, see if we can get something good so we can beat our opponent. I'm hoping for a better weapon or um, a better perk. So let's see what item we get. I, I usually have really bad luck when I do things like this. So we got some leggings. They're pretty good. So um, obviously we are going to go into our inventory and equip them. It has replaced my other ones that I got. So uh, if we look in our loadout, that is pretty good. So let's go ahead and join a game. Um, so we go into challenge and then go in the 1v1 queue. And we are on the red team. Obviously um, there is a grace period where we can run about, hide. Look at the uh, leaderboards. There is the stats um, sign which you do in a similar way. Instead of typing leaderboard, you type stats. And um, we have a bow with unbreaking so uh, let's go ahead and shoot our opponent in the face and there we go so he died and obviously we can kill him again which is good obviously the axe doesn't do much damage but the bow does so it's always best to shoot someone with a bow um, as it's the easiest way of killing someone so I'm getting lots and lots of points here and I've got an achievement and that gave me some points as well so uh, on the right you can see a lovely scoreboard showing um, various things about the game and now we can see our KD um, if these update they will obviously change so kills that will be uh, more than zero and deaths that will be my other account so that is most of the things in game um, let me just exit this with the one in the battle admin and um, we can reload the config file and the plugin. We can change the modifier for a specific player. So uh, let me just show you that quickly. Set modifier. Choose their name. So obviously my my name, and it could be two. So we'd get double the points or coins. So uh, that is good that you can do that. You can change how many coins one has if they uh, maybe donated, and you have. Um, it's set up on engine or whatever bycraft I think that yeah if you have a setup on bycraft you can perform the coins command and give them a certain amount of coins which is pretty cool so uh, if you do want the stat sign um, you do it in the similar way as I mentioned earlier set hollow and it's stats rather than um, rather than leadboard so that is everything in game we are going to hit the config files now as there is so many and this video is probably going to be 20, 20 minutes long so here we are in the plugins folder and as you can see I am using protocol lib holographic displays as you get all of the features when you use these two plugins with one in the battle. So let's go straight into the one in the battle folder and as you can see there are nine YML files. So strap yourself in we are going in to the achievements.yml. So in this it's pretty cool you could add more achievements if you want maybe someone is really addicted to this um, game I know I would be. Uh, you could put maybe a thousand kills and they'd get um, 10,000 points or something. So as you can see here, um, it's set up very, very well. You can easily add more um, more achievements or change the amount you get, uh, which is really cool. And the amount of points you get as well for um, getting said achievement. So uh, let's quickly move on to the broadcaster. Don't want to spend too long on some of these. So these are the messages. We also have the top line and the bottom line. I think this looks very nice. You probably wouldn't need to change this. Obviously these um, messages randomly pop up. Uh, we saw this one in game. You can um, 
tell players about various things of the plugin um, because when they first join they won't know how to use it really. So uh, that's cool that you can do that. Cases. So this is one of the best parts of the plugin. We have the default case which I opened and then we have a couple of others. Obviously you can um, create more which is really cool. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to create the gamma case. Um, I, I definitely play CSGO so that's why. Gamma 2 case, yes. Uh, the color, so you can choose from all the color codes. Permission, so whether it requires permission, so we're going to set that to false. And the contents, so these are all the different contents you could have. You could have one for only um, maybe clothing and no axe and perk. So that's what we're going to do, get rid of those two. And you can change the rarities. So um, this adds up to 100%. Make sure you keep it like that or you will have issues. So uh, if I change that to maybe 35%, change this to 35% as well. So that is 70 and then 100. So that is cool that you can do that. And the tiers. So tier 1, there's a 40% to get tier 1. Obviously tier 4 is the best. Um, so that is very, very awesome. We are going to go into the main config file now, which is where the, most of the magic happens. So we have various damages that you can change. The min and max XP you can get per kill. It's pretty cool that it changes. If you do have holographic displays and protocol lib installed, make sure you enable the holograms here or it will not appear. If we scroll down a bit, we can change various things about the game modes and games. So uh, the zombies game mode is very, very cool. There are different waves. Uh, the challenges, you can set the amount of lives, the length of the game, and the race period. Scroll down a bit more, we have all of the bosses for the Zombies game mode. So uh, if you do buy this plugin, make sure you check out the Zombies game mode because it is very, very cool. Scroll down a bit more and we can see uh, various different things about coins. So you start with a thousand, so you could buy um, a chest or maybe clothing or something when you first start. And we have the allowed commands uh, while in the game. So then we have ranks. This is a very cool feature. So uh, the amount of XP required to get the next rank. Scroll down even more and these are the commands that are executed when you win a tournament, challenge or when you rank up. So um, that is all good. Let's go into the maps file now. There isn't much in here. This is just saving various things about the maps. So I created one earlier. Set three spawn points for it. So you don't need to mess around with that. Messages. As it would suggest, this is all the messages which you probably don't want to edit, honestly. Unless you wanted to change the uh, the prefix, but I think it looks nice how it is. So let's uh, close all this. Move on to the players YML file. This obviously saves um, various things about the players, which is cool. Then we have the shop. So in here we have everything to do with the shop. So I wouldn't suggest... Um, Messing around with this, although if you do want to add um, more things in here, we can, as we created a new uh, case. So the case is called Gamma 2, um, like this. I'm sure there will be a Gamma 2 case in CSGO in the next, I don't know, year. And obviously you can set the price, so we're going to set this quite cheap. Uh, I might showcase the Gamma 2 case um, in a few minutes, once we finish with the config files. And finally, the sign. So obviously... There isn't too much in here, this just shows where the signs are in the world. So I've hopped back in game quickly to show you a couple of things. The gamma case has worked. If we right click our other account with the trade item, we get this window opening up and as you can see, we can go into our inventory, choose what we want to trade and that will show up on our side and then they can put items there. You can check what the item is so you don't get scammed and then you can confirm it and if the other account confirms as well, um, you will have a successful trade or you can just cancel it. So that is very cool. You can see that the uh, the leaderboards have been updated. Obviously top death is my other account. And finally we can go into the shop. We can go onto the other page. We can see the Gamma 2 case. We have messed around with the percentages as you can see. Let's purchase one of these and open them. So uh, let's quickly go into my inventory. Gamma 2 case. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we get something really good. Um, although, probably not. We will still get something rubbish. I've got two of these, so let's quickly open them to uh, 
have a look. So we will get, let's have a look, a helmet. So a rare helmet, that's pretty cool. And finally, the last Gamma 2 case. So I will leave a link to Holographic Displays, Protocol Lib, and obviously the plugin in the description below. Go check them out. Uh, it's made by the same dev who made the awesome Spiral Games plugin. I'll leave a link to that as well, because that's a fantastic plugin. Hopefully he makes, um, ooh, look at that, legendary. Hopefully he makes some more plugins, as uh, the ones he have made is just, just the best, honestly. One of the best devs out there. So um, go check it out, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.